Ray, and this video is intended for those of you who are wondering what you can expect with the digital version of the multiplication station. So I want to give you a preview of that so that you know exactly what you're getting. Um, most people are still using the multiplication station at the paper version as it's as it was originally intended, but of course with virtual learning or remote learning, um, there are more and more people all the time using this digital version. So this version is basically the exact same as what you're going to find in the PDF version. The only difference here is that text boxes have been added and movable um, objects in some cases have been added. Um, so basically here, if you are wanting to even switch between the PDF, the paper version, and the digital version, this is going to make it seamless for you to switch between versions because it's the exact same look. Um, now I do, the reason that I did decide to convert the multiplication station to digital was because I do feel that it converts fairly well. So, um, you know, just by putting text boxes in here, this is where your students are going to type their answers. Uh, here on the paper version, we're asking students to draw an array. Here they've been given shapes to create an array. So it does convert fairly well. Some of my other stations, I didn't feel like it would really serve the resource very well to convert it in this manner. So that's why I haven't converted all of the stations, but the multiplication station, uh, this definitely works. Here again, instead of shading the numbers on this fact hunt, they're just going to highlight with the highlighters. Okay, so they've, they've been given the tools that they need to, to complete these activities in a digital manner. Now I just want to scroll ahead to show you some of the centers. So of course the centers um, become a little bit more difficult, but here basically uh, all the center cards have just been um, formatted like this and students will just match them together basically. So that's how the centers work. So I hope this gives you a little bit better insight into exactly what to expect with the, with the digital version of the multiplication station. And if you have any other questions at all, uh, please feel free to ask. One thing that I should mention is this version doesn't cover the assessment portion. And even though you might be remote teaching, I still encourage you to do those assessments um, face to face or camera to camera uh, rather than through paper and pencil because I promise you, you just get so much more information about your students' progress if you can actually see them thinking uh, rather than just looking at their answers that have been typed or written. So please still try to figure out a way to do those assessments um, in, a, in an interview format rather than just a paper and pencil test. I hope this helps you get your head around how this can be used in the classroom. And like I said, let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks so much, have a great day.